Hi guys, so I'm going to read Sensation Comics number 6. So this issue is the first appearance of Wonder Woman's lasso of truth. Like the lasso she uses. And, uh, yeah, and like I said last video, I'm sorry I didn't upload in a while. And uh, my, um, my throat's really, or I, I'm sick right now. So my, the voices aren't going to be as good as I usually do them. Um. And I'm not, I, I, I'm also sorry, in, in the Wonder Woman videos, I, I don't do as good voices as I do in the uh, Fantastic Four Justice Society stories, because um, in Wonder Woman, in Wonder Woman, a lot of them are female characters, and I'm not very good at doing female characters, like, for me to, because I'm not, I'm not a woman, right, I'm not a female, so I, I'm not very good at doing female voices, but I'll, I try my best, I'll try my best doing the female Voices, but Wonder Woman by Charles Malton, with the beauty of Aphrodite, the wisdom of Athena, the strength of Hercules, and the speed of Mercury, Wonder Woman leads the youth of America in a glorious crusade against viciousness and ruthless aggression. Gorgeous and unpredictable, the amazing Amazon maiden darts from the clear blue sky in her silent, invisible plane to help her save America. The last stronghold of freedom and democracy. Diana <clears throat> Diana tells Captain Trevor, I have good news for him. Yes, Colonel. Oh, I hope it's a promotion for Steve. He certainly deserves it. You are promoted to the rank of Major. Congratulations. You have done splendid work breaking up spy plots. Thanks, Colonel. But I really don't deserve all this. Uh, the credit belongs to Wonder Woman. Confidently, Major. I'm going to England on a mission of the utmost importance. Sailing plans must be kept absolutely secret. They shall be, sir. During my absence, the general has appointed you acting commander, commanding officer of the intelligence service. I'll do my best, colonel. You'll need me as your secretary while the colonel is away. I understand his work. You understand how to work the colonel, but I am Major Trevor's secretary. Now, girls, don't quarrel. In fairness to Lila, I must keep her as my secretary. You, Diana, must take a two weeks vacation until the colonel returns. You're right, I'm sorry I spoke. Uh, that, that, that'll that show her the chiseler. While cleaning Lila's desk, Diana finds a threat letter threatening Steve. What's this letter doing in Lila's desk? I better read it. To Captain Trevor, so you thought you could have me executed. Bah! For that I shall kill you, as I have killed all the others. Oh, so this... To Captain Trevor, so you thought you could have me executed. Bah! For that I shall kill you, as I have killed all the others. Baron Ispala von Gunther. Why didn't you give this le letter to Mazer Trevor? I did, he only laughed. He told me to forget it, but I kept the letter. This Baroness is as dangerous as a rattlesnake. Why isn't she in prison? She escaped from the police. They made a nationwide search for her, but couldn't find a single, single clue. Later in the evening, Diana feels a strong contact with Paradise Island, the home of her people, the Amazons. I must find the Baroness before she murders Steve, but somehow I expect, I'm ex peep, I've been expecting a mental radio message from Mother. Queen Hippolyta, meanwhile, is following her daughter's career in the magic sphere. Diana's doing well in, in the world of men, but I see she needs help. I will consult the goddesses. Aphrodite and Athena, goddesses of love and wisdom, respond to the queen's prayer. Athena, Aphrodite, I long to see Diana, the princess, once more. Thy daughter has proved herself worthy of our aid. Summon Diana to Paradise Island. We shall bestow upon her a great gift. Over the mental radio to Diana comes her mother's message. Diana, return immediately to Paradise Island. Oh, how wonderful! Home, I can go to Paradise Island for my vacation. In the old barn where her Amazon airplane is hidden, Nurse Diana becomes Wonder Woman. This costume feels grand. The Amazon girls have never seen me in it. They won't know me. Like a ray of sunlight, Wonder Woman's invisible plane 
darts over the ocean at 2,000 miles an hour. My locoscope shows that I'm over Paradise Island, but it's completely hidden by clouds. I'll turn on my electronic mist beam. A powerful light ray from Wonder Woman's plane penetrates the dense cloud formations and makes a rainbow path to the Amazon landing field. Oh, the Amazon girls are having an athletic meet. I'll enter the next contest incognito with a mask on. No one will know me. Wonder Woman's silent, invisible plane enables her to land secretly near the stadium. I'll get the announcement of the next contest over the radio. Amazon's attention, the next competition will be a girl roping contest. Girls, get your lassos and mount your kangas. This Wonder Woman hastily saddles her favorite kanga. You're glad to see me again, aren't you, Jumpa? We'll show them. This contest is a free-for-all. You will lasso an opponent, pull her to the ground, and tie up her attendants. Uh, we'll furnish fresh lariats and carry defeated contestants off the field. The Amazon con the contest is on. Furiously, the Amazon girls swing their lassos while the mighty Kangas leap 50 feet into the air. Got her! That makes 11 girls I've captured. At last, only Wonder Woman and Mala... The Amazon champion remain in the contest. And this is the first... So I think she was like a reoccurring character, Mala. So she's one of the Amazon... I think this is her first appearance. I'll get her this... I'll get you this time, mystery maiden. And I'll pull that mask off your face. That's what you think. Mala's skill with the lasso is uncanny and... How do you like that? Now I'll pull you off your kanga and tie you up. Wonder Woman is tied, but no rope can hold her. Why don't you use a stronger lasso, Mala? Like mine, for instance. It's not fair. If my lasso hadn't broken, why don't you break my rope if you can? Wonder Woman ties her opponent in workmanlike fashion. Let's see if you wiggle out of this tie-up, girlfriend. <laughs> I can't. I surrender. The girls Wonder Woman has defeated carry her enthusiastically to the judges' stand. Hola! Hooray for a roping champ! She's wonderful. I declare you champion. Uh, who are you? Remove your mask. It's the princess. The princess has returned. The queen, meanwhile, at the command of Aphrodite and Athena, directs her craftswoman in a strange task. Do you recognize this belt? Yes, your majesty. It is the magic girdle which makes us invincible. The magic girdle is made of millions of fine chain links that are unbreakable. You will take links from the girdle and make a magic lasso, flexible as rope, but strong enough to hold Hercules. Uh, the magic lasso is delivered to the queen. This is the slenderest chain ever made, your majesty. Yet it cannot be broken. You have done well, Metalla. Daughter, how I, I am glad to see you. Mother, I thought I'd never be permitted to come back to Paradise Island. Alas, you cannot stay, darling. The goddesses have summoned you for to reward you for your splendid work in the world of men. This magic lasso was made for you at our goddesses' command. Why, it's made of chain. How marvelous. This chain rope is perfectly balanced. It throws beautifully. Ah, the princess doesn't know her own strength. Careful, lot, daughter. You'll hurt Metalla. All night, Wonder Woman prays to Aphrodite and Athena. And at dawn, having proved thyself bound by love and wisdom, we give thee power to control others. Whomever thy magic lasso binds must obey thee. Wonder Woman tries out her new power. Good morning, Mala. You're up early. I heard you were going back to the world of men. I want to go with you. No, Mala, I must go alone. No other Amazon maiden must give up her heritage. I don't care. I'm going anyway. Mala, you must not try to follow me. I'm going to follow you in my speed plane. Try to stop me. So you want me to stop you, eh? Eek, let me go. You are bound by my magic lasso. You must obey me. Promise that you will not follow me today in your plane. I promise. After locating the murderous Baroness on, her, on the magic sphere, Wonder Woman bids her mother farewell. Let what love and wisdom guide you, daughter. In the world of men. Of course, goodbye, mother darling. And so Wonder Woman's silent, invisible plane glides swiftly back 
across the far seas to America. But Wonder Woman's happy memories of Paradise Island are shattered abruptly as he turn, she turns on the radio. A, bra a bomb exploded today in Major Stephen Trevor's office. Fortunately, Trevor had, no had changed offices. So that warning note was no fake. The Baroness's agents planted that bomb. Hiding her plane, Wonder Woman races at a terrific rate of speed to Trevor's office. Bonk, bonk. I must tell Steve what, what I learned in the Magic Sphere about the Baroness. Wonder Woman, my angel. You always come when I need help. That's an angel's job. Tell me your troubles. Colonel Darnell sailed for England on a secret mission. The ship disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? Darnell's ship was in a convoy. It couldn't have been sunk. No submarines near. We lost contact. The destroyers searched, but the ship was gone. What ship was it? The colonel is on the gigantic. The gigantic? Great tears of Aphrodite. To solve the, disappear the mystery of the disappearing ship, let us go back and follow the Baroness Paula Gestapo agent and murderess on her way to prison. You are so kind, officer, and handsome. Sorry to do this, but I must have the key to these handcuffs. And since you'll never give it up alive, well... Releasing herself from her handcuffs, the Baroness escapes and issues orders to her agents. We have planted the time bomb, Excellency. Very good. Prepare the test of my invis invisible ray. Lie on that bled bed, slave. Oh, p no! Please don't kill me! When I turn on the current, both bed and girl become invisible. I must find out if my ray injures one who disappears. As the metal bed becomes electrified, it glows with a strange ray which baffles human eyesight. Ach, wunderbar! The bed is gone, but I can hit it. Eek, that's me you're hitting. My ray is a success. The glowing metal does not hurt humans. Uh, the glowing metal does not hurt humans. Pack my invisible ray into that trunk. Carry it into Lady Champley's cabin on the gigantic. I shall be Lady Champley. Oh, um, it's so sweet of you, my dear Lady Champney. Uh, actually, I don't know what, okay. It's so sweet of you, my dear Lady Champney, to lend me your passport. How fortunate that we look alike. Oh, no, that's, so she's British. No, I'm a dumbass, sorry. So, uh, it's sweet of you, my dear Lady Champley, to lend me your passport. How fortunate that we look alike. I never n n disliked my looks. Until now, you'll be shot for this. But the Baroness sails unsuspected. At the captain captain's table, she meets an old friend. Lady Chumpley, Colonel Darnell. I seem to remember meeting you before. Or oh, rather not, Colonel. I'm rather frightfully sure we never meet met before. But after all, we met now, and that's what counts, isn't it? At the gigantic nears Europe, the strange grimy figure of a stoker slips into Lady Chumpley's cabin. Ah, Hans, have you arranged to disable the ship's engines? Ja, Excellency, whatever you command. Let the ship's engines stop in half an hour. I will make the vessel invisible. Ho, ho, then fool, that will fool them. Count on them, me, Excellency. Through the porthole of her cabin. The Baroness passes the electric cable of the invisible ray. The powerful magnet on the end of this cable will clamp it to the ship's metal hull. I'll turn the ray on now. In fifteen minutes, this vessel will be invisible. Now to lick the ship's radio. Good evening, Lady Chumpley. May I send a radiogram for you? Yes. Give Paula von Gunther's regard to the Americans I have killed. Oh, he was an American, okay, but, and deliver the message yourself. Yeah, I'm confused because it said she was a lady. That's like, that's like, in, that's like a House of Lords, like, like, in, like, upper, like, English upper class or whatever. That's like, um, that's like English upper class. But she says it was a lady. I don't know, it, it, she was like a southern lady or so. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what, I'm not sure which one it was, but I'll just do a British one. Bang.
The small bomb ought to ruin the radio beyond repair. Boom! What blew up? The radio room, sir, completely wrecked. Sparks were shot. Must have been saboteurs on board. We're losing speed. What's the matter? Engines have stopped, sir. We can't locate the trouble. They're leaving us behind. Run up the stress fire flags and signal that destroyer. Aye, aye, sir. They seem to pay no attention, sir. It seems they don't see us. Impossible. They must see this ship drifting here. That The gigantic is no rowboat. The Baroness, meanwhile, does a little signaling of her own with a private radio transmitter. Ah, oh, that's the radio code signal of von Nuklen's U-boat. I'll give him our position. Dot, 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 dot. A Nazi sub. Shall we take a shot at him, sir? No, he's too close. He'd sink us before we la could launch the boats. But the submarine commander cannot see the gigantic. This is the position the Baroness gave, but there is no ship here. Some mistake, mine her. I'll radio the Baroness again. The Baroness, learning that the U-boat has arrived, turns off the invisible ray. Now von Lochner can see the gigantic and blow it up. I'll save Colonel Darnell and make him talk. Great, gracious lady, you are done brilliantly. The Führer himself commends you. I have an unexpected prize for you. Colonel Darnell, Chief of American Intelligence, is on this ship. We will take... Uh, her intelligence colonel with us. To the rest of your good Americans, we will bid farewell. Of course, you'll give us time to launch our boats, commander. Oh, of course, you'll give us time to launch our boats, commander. It will do little good to launch boats, captain. I have orders to sink this ship with all on board without trace. You butchers! You murderers! You... We will try to sink her with one torpedo. That's good sport. You should have let them launch the boats. It would have been fun to pick them off with rifles. Meanwhile, in Washington, Trevor despairs of saving the gigantic. It's no use. The gigantic, when last heard from, was 2,000 miles away. Even the fastest plane would take five hours to reach her. I'll get you there in an hour. Come on. Let's jump. I'll carry you, Steve. No, you won't. I know Papoose. I'll go on down on this rope. Speeding faster than humans have ever flown before, Wonder Woman hurls her super plane across the Atlantic. There's the gigantic, Steve. Yes, and look, there's a U-boat about to sink her. There goes the, tor the torpedo. We'll be too late. Too late for regrets. I'm going to power dive, back loop and jump. I'll stop the torpedo. You board the ship. Wonder Woman hits the water at an incredible speed. Her indestructible plane... Bounce, bounce high in a back loop and that landing Wonder Woman made was a miracle. Now to get these nasties. Wonder Woman races after the torpedo. This may be a race with a bang up finish. Just in time she climbs aboard the deadly missile and twists his steering mechanism. Before Von Lochner can launch another torpedo Wonder Woman throws her magic lasso. I've got you. Order your men to surrender. Never, you ack, but something makes me. Men, lay down your arms. You boys may feel a bit chilly swimming over to the gigantic, but that will get you... that you'll get a reception that'll warm you up. I think uh, I'll put these two in a prison of my own choosing and see if I can reform them. Goodbye, Steve. Give my love to Diana Prince. You saved me and everyone on the gigantic. I don't know how to thank you, Trevor. Keep them keep flying. Forgive the usual refrain, Colonel, but thank Wonder Woman, my beautiful angel. She did it all. With this great gift, I can change human character. I can make bad men good, mid and women weak women strong, but I can't use it on Diana Prince. She will have to go over on mooning over Steve Trevor while he goes on mooning over Wonder Woman. A new and startling adventure of Wonder Woman in Sensation Comics every month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be appreciated. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.